Hello? He's Can you hear me? So we just got great news, everybody. Great news. The Mesa police just called. They found Maddie and William. Um, Maddie's in custody. William's with CPS. He's well and safe. Um, they're, they're waiting to give me more details. They're gonna... We're on, it, we're on our way to pick him up. So they've been found. He's safe. Uh, and he's coming home soon. So thank you so much for all of your support and and uh, for awareness. That's what helped help him find him, and that's what's helping bring him home. And and uh, so I'll give you more information as I, as I find it. Uh, but but he's been found and uh, coming home soon. So we're really excited and just got this news five minutes ago. So so I'll try to keep you informed as it happens and and. Uh, so yeah, so they, they've been found and, and we're on our way to, to go get him. So, but he's well and safe and and that's all I know so far. We love you all! We love you all. <laughs> Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the thoughts. The prayers are, are what's helped bring him home. Thank you so much. I'll post when, uh, when I know more. So. Okay, good morning. Um, I'm using headphones and I'm in the airport, so somebody let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, I'm in Sky Harbor and getting ready to board a, fl a flight to go to San Diego where I will meet the Gokeners and we will go pick up William. Um, I'm going to do my best to include you all in today, every single step of the way, because um, your role in recovering William is uh, crucial. It's been pivotal. Um, your role in reaching out, in gathering information, and in talking to people is what has created the information that allowed us to go recover William. Um, and I want you to be able to experience today, because I know that you've experienced grief and despair and frustration and excitement, and now I want you to get to experience the joy when we go get him. So I am Jacob's attorney. And a couple of interesting legal things. So I'm headed to San Diego with the updated birth certificate and the current custody orders for William. When Madeline was found yesterday, she had um, his old birth certificate, which included his first name. Now, when, when William was born, Madeline named him uh, Roland William Jones after her father. And at the divorce hearing, the judge changed his name to William Jones Gokener. So I've got the updated birth certificate, I've got the um, emergency custody orders, and then the permanent custody order that the judge entered. Now that's not a permanent custody order as in it will never change, um, but currently the custody order is that Jacob has full custody, um, That and hopefully between having the birth certificate and the custody orders, we will be able to go to CPS in San Diego where William is being held, get the baby, and get him home with his father today. Okay, good morning. We are landed in San Diego and the Gokeners just landed as well. Um, my office has spent the last several hours harassing CPS in San Diego to get an address of where to go and we have an address of where to go. So as soon as I meet up with the Gokeners, we will probably catch a couple Ubers depending on who they brought and head over to this office and hopefully bring you a very live reunion of William and his dad. Um, one other thing I wanted to share, so yesterday just happened to work out really cool because um, I was on a video call with Jacob and Andrea and Rachel and we had just finished up a witness interview and so we were kind of going over that going over that and recapping that and all of a sudden Jacob's on the phone in the background and my phone's blowing up and um, I think it was Rachel or Andre who said they found them and it was it was just it was such an amazing moment and I started kind of screaming and my whole office pours in like everybody from my firm pours into my office because they knew what that meant I mean nobody had to ask why is Billy screaming <laughs> um, and it was just a beautiful magical amazing moment and I can't wait for later hopefully in the next hour when we get to bring you the live reunion so I hope you're having an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Wait. All right, we're live. Found the Gokener clan. We are at our next stop, which is getting a rental car. We're going to try to get a 15-passenger van because there's a lot of us. 
and then we confirm the location where William's at. We're gonna go there, we're gonna get him, and we will let you see the happy reunion. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, Jacob, here, you're not even in it. Say hey. Hey, excited to meet my son again. Have him in my life. Woo! <laughs> okay, we're two minutes out. Big van. Two minutes. Two minutes. We have sleepy, sleepy Sophie. Woo! <laughs> We're on our way. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn you around so you can see it with us. Jacob has decided that the um, actor from the Spider-Man movie needs to play him in the movie <laughs> that, that this story becomes. That's right. So, what was his name again? Tom Holland. Tom Holland. If you're watching, this guy right here, <laughs> your next inspiration. <laughs> I think we're going to the Children's Center. Did you say it was eight? Paul Holinsky. Holinsky, yeah. Holinsky. Oh, Holinsky. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because that's scary. No. This will be the first time you've met yeah. your nephew. nephew. <laughs> this is Haley. I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So we're asking for Sherry. Sherry? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the whole family is here. Okay, so the child is here. Um, I do. Would you want William to call? Okay, I think we're better now. Um, for whatever reason, the connection failed. We showed up. They weren't expecting all of us. They looked around, kind of uh, like, uh, "Oh my gosh, really?" I'll just show you why. We're not a small group here. 
So now they've taken Jacob back to do an interview. I guess they want to probably and that he is who he says he is, which I, I suppose is reasonable, but we're all getting a little bit anxious. So it should just be a, a couple minutes and then they will be here. And so I know it's taking a long time, but you might as well wait with us, so. <laughs> So, hi. Hi. Who's this? Grandpa Sam. Hi, Grandpa Sam. <laughs> that sounds weird. That sounds weird. First grandbaby? Yes. Will this be the first time you met him? First time. So excited. I'm Andrea, Jacob's mom. You guys probably all know her. This is Aunt Sophie. Sophie, how old are you? Four. Would you have and, and it's Caitlin's birthday today. 12, she's the fashionista. Check out the boots <laughs> and the nails. <laughs> Rachel, you mostly know me. I've been talking a lot. Mm -hmm. Aunt Haley, homecoming queen. Yep. <laughs> As of last week, right? Yeah. William's birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Now we can finally give him a birthday party. Yeah. Great Grandma Jean. So exciting. Okay, there we go, Bridger. Right. Uncle Bridger. <laughs> and Bridger, how old are you? 14. Okay, so you all are not in school, is that right? Well, they're supposed to be. Well, <laughs> no, it's snow day today. Snow day today. Snow day today. Yeah. 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 Snow day? Yeah. For our benefit. Nice. <laughs> so it's snowing in Montana, not snowing in San Diego. Whole bunch. Yeah, they, they, they uh, braved a blizzard coming down to get to the airport. Oh my gosh. So tell us about that. Andrew's the one driving. I tell him about you called and have the state patrol close the road. Um, doesn't like the sound, huh? Okay, tell me if we have sound now. I don't know why there wouldn't be sound. Check it out. Let me know if you can hear it now, okay? The reception is a little weird, so if, if you can't hear it, that might be why. So Andrew, you want to tell us the story about the blizzard last yeah, night? Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, so last night we um, were flying out this morning. We had to be at the airport at 4 a.m., so we decided to drive to the town where the airport was. And we left our house, and there was a horrific, horrific blizzard. We literally got down to where we were driving three miles an hour, and I was probably overdriving the conditions. It was so bad. So bad. So, so, so come here. Wash your hands. If you want to go on. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to see you live. Facebook. She wants to stay kind of tucked away. Okay, right, <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister yeah. calling. She was like, I can't believe it. I gotta go back. <laughs> so, how did you end up getting through the blizzard? So, we just literally kept driving at about three to ten miles an hour. And then um, I even called the police to tell them to close the road if it wasn't closed already because it was that bad. And we, and we stopped for some people that were in the ditch. Yeah, we met some people that were in the ditch. And and then all of a sudden, it, like the roads were beautiful. So it was quite the transition. Wow. Yeah. And so what's so. the plan now? We're gonna, I don't, this is real. So we're gonna take the baby and just enjoy him. And Jacob will kind of figure out from there what he's doing, but yeah. So we're just excited to get to know him. Very excited. Will you stay here um, in California for a little while, or do you know when you want to go back? We are free spirits right now, so we're going to just enjoy some downtime as a family so we can just kind of relax and get to know him and have this transition be as smooth as it can be. So we'll have a little, little time off, so I'll be good. So despite our best efforts to kind of pave the way beforehand, you know, we got them paperwork, we talked to them since last night, um, CPS is, you know, doing what they can to right. go through their process. And we just got the news at 6 o'clock yesterday, so we're at about 19 hours. Oh, yeah, actually. It's like one of the we're not the fellow, but not the fellow. Not the fellow you're waiting for. We don't have to do that. <laughs> Okay, well, here's what we were just
just told. We were told that when we, um, when William was picked up, they they got uh, medication, they got a diaper bag, they got a car seat. He was in good condition. He's been checked out by a nurse. What else do we know? That he'll be here any second. He'll be here any <laughs> second. What did the nurse tell you? Um, we don't know if he's got his one year immunizations yet. She said to check with, just have an exam with the doctor and give him a rundown and check up when I get him. Read to him, sing to him, help his brain development. And Pretty much the report. Okay, and then. Weight and height they gave me. What is it? Uh, it's in What's 74 it? centimeters. Oh, that's it's 12.7 kilograms. Okay, so we, we, it's, 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 wait, it's, it's just pounds. pounds. So that's 20, basically 26, 27 pounds? No, well, he's not that big. 12, 12. 12 times 2.2. 13. That would be real big. Yeah. Well, because there's only seven. My four-year-old is twenty-seven pounds. You have like seventeen pounds in June. Because we weighed him. Because two point two pounds per kilo. The lady said he looked pretty chunky. So pretty. You know, it's chunked up. Chunky is good. Maybe he's eating food. Yeah. Not a big egg. I think he'll like the bear. Mm -hmm. I think he's yeah. going to love the bear. Five, Not five, as much as he's going to love Sophie, though. Mm -hmm. Not that much. Don't count. Stop. Just joking. <laughs> this is a better um, waiting, though, than a lot of the waiting we've done. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am, on that one. This just takes me so surreal. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> Logan's in your pocket. Logan, are you there? <gasps> no, I think I killed him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Finish up. <laughs> 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 All right, let's call Logan and make sure he's on. <coughs> okay, so the other thing that she told us was that if the marshals who, who got Maddie and William, if they had just kept him, then we could have just driven to the marshal station and picked him up. But because they released the baby to CPS custody, CPS needed to go through their protocol, their legal screening, and they needed to basically do an initial screening to make sure you were a fit parent, right? Yep. So what did they ask you to determine you were a fit parent in two seconds? Uh, there's been a history of abuse in my family, how my growing up was, if I had any mental health issues, um, so that, yeah. Got it. And you've been through those questions before, haven't you? So did they say if you're walking? Did she say? I don't know. If he's that big, either one of what takes two things. They're strong. He's walking. running, walking, or he's too heavy to hold himself quite yet. <laughs> It can go either way, so we'll see. We'll see which one he is. <laughs> What'd you say? I said hopefully you like this baby in our ward, Waven. He's huge. He's, he's a big boy. He's massive. And he's, he's a sweet boy. He's the uh, cute Oh, that's one of your guys' babysat. Yes, yeah, yeah. we babysat him. Go ahead. So we were talking about that we don't even know if William is walking or not. And I said, I'm guessing he's not because when we met him in June, we sat him on the couch, he was eight and a half months old, and he kind of went eh, kunk, onto the couch. So my guess is maybe he's not a walker, but we'll find out in a minute. We'll find out. He's like 13 months. He's what? 13 months. Well, yeah, but some babies walk a little later than others. You're used to our kids that walk at like nine months, not every baby's that way. <laughs> this, is, this is Jacob's brother on the phone with us, the only member of the family of his siblings that isn't here. So, so Jacob, what did they ask you? Uh, the timeline of everything that's been going on from when I met Madeline to now. And you're out here already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the real Do short version. Yeah. And then uh, just the, the document, they had the birth certificate, social security card, the full custody order. Gonna meet him real soon. He's apparently at the cottage, which is where they keep babies that age, but it's supposed to be close to here, so it should be any minute. Good, good. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> is that from a movie? Oh, yeah. It's from Cat and Hat. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
stories with crazy people who are touching children. Bad. That's what she said. Custody wise, um, you know, Jacob lives in Montana and there's nothing that will stop him from taking his baby back to Montana. Arizona will continue to have what's called continuing exclusive jurisdiction for things like modifications um, unless they get to a point where the state says, where Arizona says, uh, you know, Montana is a more convenient forum. They have all of the evidence and the witnesses regarding um, William's well being. And so, for on an ongoing basis, things like child support and custody issues might later be released to Montana's jurisdiction. But for now, even though Jacob is free to take William back to Montana and live there, you know, permanently, um, we'll still be hanging out in the Arizona courts for a little while while we figure out what's going on with Madeline and, and what the new normal might look like here. Well, what do we know, Andrea? So when Jacob got called, the only thing that they told us was that um, they had the baby and they had Madeline in custody and that they were in San Diego. And that's literally what we know. From it's about, about 18 hours ago. Yeah. So I've heard other things posted online. I think, huh, nobody's told me that. So L Okay, so which rumors do you want to debunk? Well, I don't know if they're debunkable or not. <laughs> Maybe they're things that are right and I haven't heard them yet. So some of the stuff we saw online that I wasn't sure about. A specific relative. That there's a, yeah, that there's a specific relative who she was staying with. We don't know. We don't know if she was in an apartment by herself. We don't know where she was. Um, other things is the, the number of people that might have brought her here. We don't, we don't know. Um, Do we know how she got here? We, we think so, but we're kind of waiting for the police yeah. report. Right? Okay. More paperwork to fill out. I like your shirts. It's awesome. Thank you. They match a baby we're waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Grandma's getting all ready. She's ready. Let's go. Oh, we didn't bring his shirt. Shirt. What are we gonna do with all the shirts shirt now? Okay. We're gonna wear them at the party and we're gonna be going to say. I said no, we're gonna have him do that. It's gonna be ceremonious today. So so the plan is we don't have a marker, but we're gonna get one. We're gonna put the missing baby um, t shirt on him, scratch out missing and write in found baby. Nice. So that'll be our ceremony later today. Very, very yeah, nice. Yeah. But maybe after lunch. Please. After it warms up to us. Yeah. We've got a full tummy in it. So has has anybody provided any um, guidance or advice on how to make this as as least traumatic as possible for William? Um, my sister Rachel. Okay, so Rachel, what? Great, thanks for that. Yeah. So so what yeah. can be done to make this transition as easy as possible on William? Well, I think one understanding that this is a scary thing for him, and I think we all understand that it's a scary thing for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I am actually like the emotional one, just you guys know. Um. We tried, tried so hard to make it easy. Yeah, all right, all right. Andrew and Sam bought a house there so that he could transition, you know, back and forth and meet the family, but we never got the ticket. We never got the ticket. So I think, you know, the key is just being understanding that that's what is going to be for him. And then, as much as we want to get up on him and love on him, he's just the baby. He's not used to him. And so we have to make sure that we're constantly kind of making sure that we're aware of him yeah. and what he's really watching his signs and his cues and, and giving him the space because he needs that. So. There's been a lot of talk about um, William's medical needs. What do we know about that? Honestly, we don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Sam? <laughs> you sure? I had a big cough. <laughs> no, seriously, what was so, that? So, the problem is, he's been seen by the doctor a lot. Yeah. And we pulled all those medical records. Jacob requested them all, so we've been able to review them. And the problem is, the doctor said in the medical records, he has this condition the doctor hasn't seen. The doctor's only been told that he has GERD. He's never seen him spit up. He's never seen he have it. even says he didn't have an irritation in his esophagus, which would be a sign of a baby who had GERD a lot. To the point so, of choking. To the point of, yeah, because she was saying that he's choking all the time. So I think one of the challenges Jacob's going to have is to actually learn about this little guy and what his, what his health actually is, as opposed to maybe what the story of his health has been. And were you able to get um, prescription records? We did. And yeah. What did those indicate? Sure. So the prescription records showed only four months of the, the acid medication. And so that, that tells us two things. One, that they're negligent if he does have a condition, because he's a year old now and they've only had four months of prescriptions. And it also tells us, what was the other thing? He doesn't have it. Well, oh, well, that he doesn't have it, they lied. Or he doesn't have it, and he doesn't have this condition, and, and they lie, and are giving him medicine he doesn't need. So. Why? Why would they have lied? <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> that is the question. I think their whole their whole purpose in lying was to keep me out of his life and to to create barriers. Absolutely. To make it so that you were somehow unable to take care of him. Yep. Yeah. So um, your bottom line then, Rachel, was really just to check in with him and follow his cues and use your paperwork. I believe use doing, uh, when they release paperwork, did you sign the yeah. sign? Okay, so they'll bring him up in a moment, and then I just need to forward this to my supervisor and get a sign of okay that you guys can hang out, hang out here, yeah. and then visit with him, and then when um, when uh, you're all clear to go, then you will be free to go. Perfect. Thank okay. you so much. I got a 10% battery um, notification, so wouldn't it be awesome <laughs> if my phone died? <gasps> yeah. Also, I, I understand it looks like you're, you know, taking this, mm -hmm. so anything that has to do with the uh, name, you can just, like, not show my face because 
we, I don't like to have a lot of information about the sure, media sure, while well, doing CPS yeah. stuff, and you know, so sure. you can either cut that part out and just go with just the, um, mm -hmm. you know, when, when they reunite, mm -hmm. if that would that'd be helpful. <laughs> so I'm going to just stop it now so that I have some right. juice left yeah, so that when he gets here, okay? okay. Face doesn't look too hey, swollen. Look, this is your it's auntie. Really? That's your auntie right there. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's your birthday bear. That's from a very special lady. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty. Who wants to hold him? Uh, better wait. I would just keep him for a while and I wouldn't hand him around yet. He, he, seems, pretty, he seems pretty calm and easy though. You like the beer? This is Caitlin. It's her birthday. You're her bestest birthday present ever, <laughs> ever. He looks oh, he's great. Yeah. His face looks so familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> you look familiar though. You never saw you up close. Oh, look at his dimples. Oh, I love him. That's your birthday beer. Oh, so That's, That's from birthday. Destiny. Destiny got him now. Destiny, Destiny yeah. is your best fan. <laughs> I just want to say I think that everyone's exhibiting a lot of self control. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very calm. This is your family. This is your family. We've been waiting for you for so long. Caitlin, Grandma Jean, and Grandma <laughs> back here. How are you, huh? How are you? Does he remember when you saw him? Hi, Just he remember when you saw him? Hi, Baby. Step up and see what he does. Hi. Because he saw Hi. you before. Hi. Because he's a bear. It's like, I like the bear. I will ignore the rest of you. You will. You're going to know us. And you're going to think we're cool. Because <laughs> we totally are. <laughs> you know, you guys make beautiful babies. <laughs> I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. That's Bridger. He kind of looks like your daddy, doesn't he? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Grandma Andrea? Granny. Granny. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Granny. Do you want to take pictures? You can take pictures of everybody. That's a nice but toy. Well yeah, he looks good. <laughs> 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 Maybe he's trying to say, Daddy, did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> <laughs> we did it before I am at home. Want to see you, Sophia? Yeah. Super content and he's healthy and well and no, reaching for everybody and we're having a great time. It's been it's been a long year without him and especially the past three and a half months not knowing if he was all right, not knowing where he was and here he is and he's he's snuggly and he's super cute and couldn't be happier. Thanks for all your support. It was because of everyone's awareness and support that. that He's able to come home now and be reunited with us. 